Greetings and welcome to my Let's Play series. Today is episode 46, and we're going to be continuing with that Flux Infused Jetpack. It'll be nice and fun, so let's just jump right in. So, right off the bat, we're going to be going to get some leather, because we need to build another strap to build another piece to this. The... which part is it? We need to build these. The, uh, let's... the Flux Packs. We need to go all the way up to the Resonant Flux Pack. So, let's see here. We got another chicken egg. Boom. Okay, what we need is this. We need to make some hide. And then we'll be good to go. It's one of the base components that I don't really have a lot of, so... Since I haven't killed any cows, we don't tend to have a lot. So we'll be taking it um, downstairs with us and crafting the next part, which is basically just this and some iron. I think it's a harness of some sort. I think it's what it's called. Let's see here. Oh, it's called a leather strap. So it just takes the leather and mixes it with some ingots. Let's head on downstairs and let's get that made. Still haven't done much with these bees. Poor guys. Whoops, too far. Okay, so let's grab some iron to go with this. And we'll be good to go. We'll just take a whole stack. Maybe not two stacks, but a whole stack. Because we'll probably use it for other stuff as well. So, there we go. We now have another strap. Now the next step is we need to create a basic energy cell. Which is pretty easy and straightforward. Why is it not allowing me to see the recipe for it? Hmm. That is weird. Let's pick it up. N. Er. G. Let's see. Where are you, energy cell? Hmm. That's weird. Well, we know where to find it. Thermal always has the answer. So there's the energy cell frame. And it's used to make an energy cell basic. Okay, so we need some lead, some iron, some glass, the usual. Let's grab a stack of you. We're gonna need probably a stack of you. We're probably gonna need some tin for another for gears. And there we go. So let's start with the energy cell frame. Just a lead gear. And there we go. Now, oh, we forgot some redstone. So let's grab a few pieces of you. And we'll take a couple of you and a stack of you, because I know we're going to need it. And we need a reception coil. Ooh, it's electrum. There we go. Got our one piece of electrum to make that happen. There we go. And now, there we go. We have our first component required there. Let's go back to simply jetpacks here. Now it's just going to require some lead. It says it's missing the energy cell. That is weird. That is really weird. Lead infused flux pack. Does it need to have the jet pack attached to it? It doesn't say it does. Hmm. Well, let's just try to make it. Here. And we'll see what we get. Well, we made it. Let's go to make the second one. We're going to need some Electrum, and then the next tier. Okay, so we're going to need another piece of Electrum. Let's grab quite a bit of Electrum here. That should help us out. Let's grab a few more pieces of this. There we go. Okay, so let's work on this next one. We're going to need an Energy Cell Reinforced. And then another one of these. 
Let's look up the energy cell reinforced. So let's go back to thermal here. We'll pull that up and we'll make that real quick. Energy cell reinforced. You have to put the upgrade kits on them, the conversion kits. So we need to make another basic energy cell, basically, is what we're looking at here. Let's make our lead gear. And let's make our frame. And then let's upgrade it. There we go. So now we're going to set this puppy down. <coughs> And then we're going to make that first kit for it. Where are those kits? There they are. We need some invar and some bronze. So let's go over here to our drawers. We'll need four of those and four of those. Looks like we're going to need to make some more invar. There we go, got the gear, got the upgrade. So we're going to need to go straight to the reinforced. So we need some electrum and some hardened glass. Let's see what do we have here. We have two pieces of hardened glass. We have enough for this particular one, but we're definitely going to need more. So let's make our, well we don't have any silver just yet, but we'll fix that right now. Okay, so now we have some silver to go with this. So let's make our silver gear. And then let's make our reinforced kit. And then let's combine these two together. And then we'll apply it. Now we have... Let's use our wrench here. It's much faster. Now we have an energy cell reinforced. There we go. I forgot why I couldn't look up the recipe, but now I... I feel much better about it. But I'm going to be right back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some of the Invar and a few other things that we're going to need to be able to make this happen. So I'm back and I have been able to make uh, a lot of what we're going to need. So it took quite a bit to figure out all the ingredients that we're going to need. But it's done now and so we can start working on making some of the items that are going to help us along in this process. So right now we're going to make that that resonant cell. Let's go to thermal and we'll be able to find what we need there. We're making, yeah, the resonant cell. So to do that we just basically made another energy cell basic and then we're going to make some upgrades for it and just tap those right on there. These ones here. So we're going to start by making the hardened upgrade kit which is invar and bronze. I already made some bronze gears and we just needed some invar and we're good to go. Oh, and we have to have some redstone. Oh, yep, we do. Okay, so let's make this one. Then let's make this one. Kind of prepped a little bit. The singular one, oh, I didn't make any electrum. So we need to make the cryothium dust. So we're going to need snowballs, nitar, redstone, and some of this blitz powder. So we're gonna need, I had to go find snow too which was fun to say the least. I have some niter here, which we're good to go. And then I have the blizz powder. Always have to have fun stuff, right? And then redstone, okay. So we just needed a few things. There we go. Now we can put them all together here. Snow in there, niter, redstone, there we go. Grab that. Now make this one and that one. So now I have plenty of cryothium dust, which is very, very helpful to us. So let's make the next one then. So we're going to need some cingulum. There we go. Got some cingulum. Looks like I may need to cook some of that up too. We'll eventually get there. We need our one Electrum gear and our Cingulum. And there we go. Now our Resident Upgrade Kit is even more complicated. It's going to be Pyrothium Dust. We'll have to get some Lumium. But we also need to make some Blitz, 
what is this pyrothium dust so we have blaze powder we have some redstone we need to get some sulfur and some coal dust let's see here we got some of that we need some of that uh, we need some of that and then what else do we need that should be good let's try that out that should be enough to make wait right there there let's see hopefully we have enough yep we don't need the chest plate and bam now we have 64 of that one good we have a ton of redstone though what's up with that put some of that back that's just too much to carry we're getting full okay so we need four of the lumium there we go seems to be an odd metal in and of itself anyway We'll put that back. Now we're. I forgot we need four of these. There we go. And we should have enough to make one of these finally. So I think we put all these together and it'll make. Yes. The conversion kit needed. Now we just converted it. It holds 50 million RF, which is an insane amount of RF but it is good for us because we needed both of those to be able to make the next portion of the uh, flux pack so let's go back to our um, simple jetpacks because we're gonna try to get this resonant flux pack armored made because we that's the one we need we need the resonant flux pack okay so to make this one, we need to make this one, which is going to require this cell, some electrum, and a redstone conductance coil, and some lead. So let's make our conductance coil. So we're, for that, let's put back our, that, let's put back that. We're going to need some electrum. Let's grab about 16 pieces. There we go. And then... Let's see what else we're gonna need. We have lead. Okay, so we have all the other ingredients. Now, what's it gonna take for the next one? Same thing lead, enderium, another one of those coils. Okay, so let's wrench these guys. Let's take them with us. So, let's see here. We'll make our coil. And we need a second one while we're at it. Now, what else are we missing here? We're missing lead. Well, let's grab some lead. Four should be enough. So we'll go right there. What are we missing now? Oh, it says we're missing an energy cell reinforced. Well, I have an energy cell reinforced. So we'll just have to copy the recipe. Okay. And we'll take some electrum, some lead. There we go. And we made it. So we'll just copy the recipe again, but this time for this one here, putting lead here and I think enderium there. Nope, swap. Yep, there we go. So now we have the tier three resonant flux pack, which holds 20 million RF. And I think that's what's needed as a base for the flux infused jet pack. Let's check. So. Oh, it needs to be armored. So we need to put armor on it. So to put armor on it, it says we're going to need the Invar one. So let's make the iron armor plating. And then let's look. We're going to need bronze and Invar. Eight bronze and eight Invar. Okay, so there's that. Or I think it's ten. I think it's ten when you cook it. Let's check. Yeah, it's, it's ten. So then I need uh, ten bronze. There we go. Let's go make this up real quick. And put that in there with that one. Let it cook up. Let's go check on the enderium I'm cooking down here. Hmm. Two more blocks. It's taking an awful long time to cook it, but it'll get there. It says how many blocks are left? Two blocks. Okay. So it'll be done shortly. It does take a long time for those particular blocks to cool. But now, we're getting quite a good number of items, and I'm very happy with that. Oh, we're over here at the uh, 
The induction smelter. Okay, so we'll put this in there with the invar. And then we'll armor this resonant flux pack up. There we go. So let's see here. We put it in here with this one. Swap them. Hmm. How do we put those on there? We need to make this. Well, we need to make this. It just says armored. But it wants me to make the jetpack version of it. Hmm. Let's see. How do we make the other ones? It doesn't show those either. Hmm. Let's see here. This could be a problem if I can't figure out how to get it on there. Here, I'll be right back once I figure it out. So, I finally figured it out. What I ended up having to do was update uh, simply jetpacks too, so that the recipe would be there. And if you look now, it is there. So we can make this finally, and we can move on with the requirements of this jetpack. So now that we've made the resonant flux pack for the armor portion of this, I think we're going to call that. Because we got this done, and then we need to upgrade to the resonant jetpack. And then we need to actually build the flux infused jet plate. So in the next episode, we're going to start working on getting this jetpack finished being upgraded. And then we're going to put all these pieces together. It'll be nice and fun. Thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.